Hey everybody, it's Mr. Land and Dara. Dara San Martin, or she likes to be called Dara San Martin from eighth period. Say hi, Dara. Hi. So Dara was hanging around. We thought we'd shoot the video for the next uh, subject. Well, not the next subject, but the plate boundaries that we're doing, right? Yes. You know them well from class, right? Yes. That didn't look too confident, dude. I know. You're sure. Do you know? Do you know the boundaries in the landforms? You need to because you need to master both of them for the quiz. Do you know them both well? Boundaries, landforms? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, guys, we're going to take you on a little tour of the boundaries and the landforms that we covered in class and that way you can know them. When you finish the video, make sure you do your summaries. If you'd like to do any artwork, I'll consider it extra credit if you do that on your paper, all right? Are you going to do it? Yes, of course. Are you going to do the extra credit? I have to. Oh my God, Dara's going to go home and do the work right now. You know Dara, right? Halo on her head. Nice little girl. Okay. No? No. <laughs> okay. Jasmine Luna, this is for you. 184, girl. All right. Let's open it up here. I was going to do this on our last movie, but unfortunately, we were not able to, to get it in there because it was just going to be too long. There are the plates, guys. You did your map. Did you do your map? No. What? <laughs> I didn't finish it. Dude, you need to finish your map, dude. Here's your map. Check it out. All the plates are here. They're all mismatched, crisscrossed, different shapes, right? You did the colors on your map. You need to do that map, dude. I just need to paste it. Okay, we'll paste it. Y'all need to get your map down because we're actually going to do that for a final project grade. And here are the plates again. Remember my, you remember my favorite plate? Which one was my favorite plate? Africa. No, that's Mr. Rossi's favorite plate. <laughs> just kidding. Which was my favorite plate? I said it was up by Washington. Can you see it? It's up by Washington. Do you see it? It's very tiny. It's very small. No. It's over there. It's just not. It's right here. It's the Juan de Fuca plate. Oh, Mr. Anyway. Rossi's favorite plate. No joke. Coco's plate. No joke. <laughs> That's his favorite one. Coco's. I Coco's. don't know. Coco's plate. Yes. All right. Let's go on. So the first boundary we learned was divergent, right? Yes. So what does that mean? Divide. So which way is it going? Opposite of Opposite other. plates. Now this platform here. What shape is it in? Do you remember? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you well, this mean? is the mid-ocean ridge. So tell me, what ocean is this under? An ocean. Yes, which ocean is this under? Is it under the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean? Atlantic. This is under the Atlantic Ocean. Do you know what started right here? This was the beginning. Of Pangea? Pangea. High five, dude. Ooh. Pangea started right here, guys. We know that. So which way is this divergent boundary going? Opposite, it split. Pangea split apart. If you want to, check out the David Guetta video that I loaded up on the channel <laughs> without you. Thank you, Emily Arevalo. Props to Emily, right? Yes. The video was good. I like check it. it out. There's some inconsistencies in the video, but it's an interesting take on Pangea coming back together. If you'd like to watch it, check it out. It's on the channel. So here, do you remember in the video what shape this divergent boundary of the Mid-Ocean Ridge goes? It's like a letter. Do you guys remember what letter it is? The letter S. The letter S. So it goes in a letter S shape all the way from the north of Iceland all the way down to the, not the Atlantic. No, yeah, Atlantic. through the Atlantic, but all the way down to Antarctica. Antarctica. Yes, so Pangea started here at the mid ocean or at mid Atlantic Ridge. It's a divergent boundary. Got it? Yes. Cool. Let's go on. Now, what's different about this? It's opposite. Oh my goodness, look, I made a super big mistake. Do you guys see the mistake? I typed it in so fast. Do you see the mistake? Rift Valley Convergent. Mm hmm. It's it's supposed to say here. What is it supposed to say, guys? Divergent. It's supposed to say divergent. Oh my God! I made a super huge mistake, guys. Please forgive me. The Rift Valley is supposed to say divergent. Divergent. I know. Give me a slap right there, <laughs> dude. Oh. Okay. This is supposed to say divergent, guys. Please forgive me so much. Don't get that confused. So these are going opposite. But what's different from this rift from the ridge? What's different here? That it's on land. It's on land. It's on me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, every time no. it says land, I got to say something. It's on land plates. Now, the ridge was on what kind of plates? On the ocean. Ocean plates. Oceanic plates. So these are on land plates, right? And this is the rift. Would you remember the name of this rift here in Africa? What do we call it? The Great Valley. Yes, the rift. Great Rift Valley. The Great Rift Valley. And that is divergent. Again, guys, forgive me. Bad mistake there. Very sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Why are you laughing, girl? Because it's funny. <laughs> Let's go on. Now, this one's correct. Now we got mountain chains. Mountains are formed from what kind of plates, dude? 
accountants, convergent. Yes, convergent boundary. What does that mean? Convergent. Together. Together, conectados, juntitos, unidos, conectados, con, with, with. What kind of la what kind of plates are these? Those. Look at the picture. What kind of plates are these? Look, it says continental. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Continental. What does that mean? What kind of plate? Is it an ocean plate? No. No. So what kind of plate is it? Land plate. It's land plates. So, boom, they crash. They're light. Which way do they go? Up. Not opposite, but up. Up. And now you got a mountain range. Correct. Would you think you find mountains? Um, where would you find mountains? In California. That's correct. You could also find mountains in Mexico, right? You can find mountains in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. Mountains everywhere, guys. Convergent boundary. Let's go on. Now we got my favorite. Okay. Whoa, volcano blows. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just a song. Volcanoes. But volcanoes, they are convergent. But the ocean plate sinks down. Why? Because of... I know you said this in Dude, class. Dude, do you guys know? Thinking... Hello, please tell Dara or Dara, why does the ocean plate sink? Why does it go down instead of crashing up? What is the ocean plate made of? Water. No, it's not made of water. <laughs> There's water on the top, but the ocean plate is made of that liquid hot stuff. Mantle. It's made from the mantle. What's in the mantle? What's in the mantle, guys? Love. And we call it magma. So, <laughs> oh. magma, right? <laughs> okay. Magma's yeah. very thick, so when it dries up, it makes the ocean crust thick. So, because which one, is, which one is heavier, the land plate or the ocean plate right here? Is it the land plate or the ocean plate that's heavier? Hmm. It's got to be the one that's going down. Which one's going oh, down? The, ocean. the oceanic plate. So what do we call this process of going under when the plate sinks under? We call it subduction. Subduction. Sensual subduction. It's only you and Aurora with that. Yeah. Sensual subduction. Ocean plates go under. Dude, volcanoes, you're going to have an ocean plate sinking under a land plate. That's what you're going to get. So if you go to the coast... Would you, would you, if you went to the coast, like the coast of California or the coast of Japan, would you see volcanoes? Yes. Of course you would, because that's an ocean plate and a land plate. Let's go on. Oh, well, I just put in a few pictures here of volcanoes. Do you know what this painting is of here? It's a volcano. It's actually Mount Vesuvius. It's an artist's rendition of what Mount Vesuvius would have looked like if it blew in 79 AD. And it's actually quite powerful. It was a, it was a 10 on, uh, on the volcanic scale. My gosh. Pretty bad, right? Big time. Yep, all those people. Psh, I know. Let's go on. Don't live near a volcano, by the way. <laughs> we did trenches. I showed you Nemo, and of course, here's a picture of that fish. I don't know if you remember that name. No. It's, it's an angler fish, and he has a little light chemical there. He lives deep, deep, deep in the trenches. So trenches have to be near what other landform? What other landform? Yeah, wherever, because it's a convergent boundary. So if it's an ocean plate and the, and the land plate, a trench has to be identically next to another landform that's on land. Mountains? No, volcanoes. Correct, dude, yes. If you have a volcanic range, like in the areas right here, then you will have an ocean plate sinking down, and you're going to have a trench in the ocean. By the way, this is the Pacific Ocean. Do you remember what we call this whole entire space right here that goes round and round in the Pacific Ocean? It's the ring of fire. The ring of fire. Do fire. Fire. I think that was like a cat or something. What was that? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the ring of fire. All of the world's major volcanoes are located on this ring right here. So like I told you guys in class, if you live near the ring, well, you better be expecting to run from the volcano, all right? But the trenches are located in the water in the ocean. Let's go on. Last one. Now, this one's kind of new. This one's in California. What do we call this boundary here? It's not convergent. It's not divergent. It doesn't go opposite. It doesn't go towards. It goes side, side to side. What do we call this one right here? Transform. We call this a transform boundary, correct. What is it transforming? Transform. I'm not precisely sure. Ah. Uh -huh. A scientific approach. Well, look at the crust. Is it broken? No. What do you think this is right here? This is a fault. We call this a fault. Does it look broken here? Imagine a cut on your skin. Does it look open? A little bit. Yes, it does. Does it look broken like the piece of the earth has cracked? Yes. Yes, it does. So this is a fault that has been created by friction. You know how when you rub your hands together? Yes, it has it's warm. <laughs> exactly. Well, this this plate here, did I just say these? 
Yes. Oh my did. God, why did I say these, <laughs> these? So these two plates, they rub each other side to side and they break and they form a fault. Like in California, check this fault line out right here. The San Andreas Fault travels all the way through Southern California, Southern Mexico, and all the way up through Northern California. People actually live on this thing. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, how would they survive? Well, they do survive, which is pretty crazy. But one of the side effects from this friction, do you know what it is? When the two plates rub against each other, they call it a shearing motion, like scissors side to side when they cut and they, they scrape against each other. Do you know what it makes? It makes something really, really tough and really, really, uh, really, really explosive and, and really, really powerful. And you can feel it because you're shaking and you're like, ah! exactly. Now, don't get me wrong, all of these boundaries can produce earthquakes, but this one right here, man, this one makes some tough ones. So if you live in California, get out, am I right? Yes, never go. Well, no, well, don't, we can visit, we'll visit Disneyland. Okay. But get out fast. <laughs> earthquakes, transform boundaries, side to side. Ah! Look, we're in an earthquake, Dara! Ah! Okay, no, we're not no. in an earthquake. Sorry, just kidding. Well, look, guys, that's the last slide right there. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you write your summaries, all right? And we're going to do our models in lab, and then we'll do our quiz. Yay, quiz. <laughs> Is that how you feel? I know you better, yeah, right? So listen, guys, from us to you, do your science work, and we'll see you in class. Say bye. 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 I got to hit the button. Where's the button? Right there. Oh, sorry. Hit the button, G.